like pruned black locust, I have no reason to believe it's going to take. That is a fresh cut from either an apple or a pear, I don't know. Um, and I taped it to a black locust that is not doing extremely well because it's just been pruned um, back pretty severely and thoughtlessly. And uh, so then we've got one that's definitely dead. That's dead right there. And that is uh, grafted on. That's science experiment one. Science experiment number two, we have a pear tree, which is doing okay. Good to add the top loft off of it. Not sure if you're supposed to do that or not. Probably not. And this has been not only grafted on, but I pruned off this little section. Grafted on. A little bit of an apple tree to it, which looks pretty good right now, but I just did it like five minutes ago, so we'll see how this looks later on. This is a fruiting and a healthy ornamental plum tree, which I uh, understand you can graft all kinds of things onto. You put apricots, nectarines, um, all kinds of fun stuff, plums, who knows what you'll actually take. So another, a better uh, candidate for science experiments. Then there is the recently pruned, recently acquired, not yet established tree that I pruned anyways and treated ruthlessly, but put it under some brand new fresh wood chips. It's not been here for six months or a year. That's brand new. So that is a new, pardon the scratch on my hand, uh, brand new graft, and it is a sort of a V-shaped or wedge graft. Uh, graft. And I've got way too many leaves on here, so pull some of those off. You don't want, you don't want too many. go. Just leave a couple on the end. We've just been real mean and abusive to it. So that should be enough. Okay, so that's all it is. On the Jonah Gold is a pear. And so this is brand new, first year tree, and we'll see what happens. These are uh, fresh wood chips and leaves chipped up. If I pull it back, you will see the steam arising from it. That's about 100 degrees and very moist. These are my recently penciled or pulled uh, collection of God knows what I didn't label them. I just wanted to see what would germinate and what would not. So that's uh, mystery plants. All I did was put them in potting soil and they did stuff like that. So whatever the hell that is. And I put them in little, little rows so at the very least I know that this is going to be the same as whatever else was planted in its row. As soon as the next row comes up, we can plant whatever the heck that is, carrots or something. Did the same thing with radish, importance number two. These were germinated on a paper plate and planted these and then sprinkled the magic fairy dust. You can see right there over those very brand new germinated radishes right there. Okay, and then fairy dust, so it is technically buried, right, so it gets a little bit of dark, and then we have our cool designed little ranch bottle with our holes, tiny holes drilled on the top of it, so that we can water all gentle like, right, keep everything moist. We also have a second cup size here, and this is the little drinking cup and of course a little slash on the bottom of it to allow proper drainage in our pots all right so cheap pots pennies a piece and those drain right out the bottom just fan now everything you see here is my backup plant because I've already planted some seeds un in the soil underneath some bark over the eye uh, the sticks mark off this little experimental bed where I've sowed directly underneath underneath the, um, the natural. This is not, no wood chips. This is all fallen from the trees above, very prickly. And there is underneath it some, some soil. So it's been planted in this. It's kind of compacted and hard stuff. So it's not that good. It's full of roots. So it's basically not good. Then we've got the, about the cheapest $3 little nozzle for watering things. Pressurized. Again, frequent light, nightly watering, rather lightly, 
and uh, we've got a number of beds that we're just going to water rather lightly, frequently, and uh, that's the sort of primary experiment. Then the backup is those cups. If stuff grows better in there, and that store-bought $3 potting soil, then I'll transplant that instead. But something might come up. We'll see.